Hey, John here. I was just looking at some of these comments that you posted after my last video. These are excellent comments. I asked for it. I got it. I needed to know how the heck do I delete these tracks. I forgot how. I know how to do it in Altium, but I've never done it in KeyCAD. So uh, let's start with F6 FVY first here. He points out, he, she points out that um, I made a mistake in my design. Absolutely, I did. He also points out the caliper tool. Let's look at the mistake first. I made the correction in my files and pushed it up to GitHub. So if you actually grab the files or you went over to Osh Park and ordered a board or something, it's correct. He points out that I forgot to put these grounds on these uh, nets over here. And as a result, in the PC board, um, the connections of these pins, pins three and four here, as well as pins uh, three and four over here, would not have been connected to the ground plane. All right, that, yes, I caught that after I was uh, filming. I also added a few of these vias over here after that film. That got pushed up in, in the version three files on GitHub. So what else does uh, F6... FBY point out the caliper tool. Well, this would have saved us a lot of time. Duh. <laughs> I, was, I was not thinking. Um, this guy down here, this little caliper, when we were, when I was messing around with this connector and I wanted to make sure that this distance was, you know, a reasonable, uh, I think it was between 1.45 and 2.5 millimeters or something like that. Uh, if you use the caliper tool here, and you just click somewhere and then you click somewhere else it tells you how far that is so this is 1.5 now the grid is not currently set to be uh, in the exact middle of this this hole but that's fine this was a nominal measurement anyway clearly this is a much superior way to measure that distance than my clowning around that I was doing by looking down here at the X and Y's now even that if I hover over here and I hit a space here's another way to do it if I hit the space, you'll notice that DX and DY, these guys down here, just re-zeroed to where my where my uh, mouse was on the grid at the time. And if I just slide it over to the middle here, you'll also see it's minus 1.5, 1.6, whatever. Same as the caliper tool. Uh, the caliper, though, is clearly the best way to do it because it's right in your face when you're uh, messing around on here like this. That's a fantastic uh, uh, point to make. Thank you very much. Uh, whoever f6 fvy dang it i shouldn't have clicked on that back up okay where am i at okay who's going on here G gary jensen okay he's he's the one that answered the question as asked thank you very much gary how the heck do you delete all the traces on your board well if you want to rip the whole thing up and start over which is ultimately what i ended up doing you can come over here and you can go to edit Global deletions. I don't know why I didn't notice this. I guess it just proves that I can't think while my mouth is open. I think that's probably a common problem. Anyway, you can pick various things. You can even delete all the footprints if you want. But if you select tracks, you can get rid of the automatically routed whatever, vias, whatever, blah, 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 all layers. I, if I hit OK, it'll give me a warning. And boom, you just saw all the tracks go away. All right? I'm going to hit Control Z because I don't really want to delete them all. Now, Andy, Andy Mouse, what is it? Andy Mouse 123 over here, uh, points out, number one, that Contextual Electronics, oddly enough, just happens to be running a, a series on KiCad 6 at the same time. They're using a little bit different approach, but uh, yesterday they happened to uh, uh, run a video on ripping up and, and replacing tracks. And they talk about the I and the U keys, I think, among other things. Or more appropriately, what it should be taken as look. If you click on preferences and you go over to hotkey options and you click on edit hotkeys, uh, KeyCAD is loaded with hotkeys. Half of what you need to do is all hotkeys, as you know, to move things around, right? You hit M. To make a copy of something, you hit C, and so on, right? Um, if you want to, uh, what do we do? We R and E to edit things. I'm sure those are in here somewhere. E, edit an item, right? R to rotate an item or even flip it onto the back of the board. If we do two-sided uh, boards, you hit F. That's, how you, uh, that's what we did for these uh, connectors, in fact, to put the headers on the back. Well, some of the other keys in here are these U and I. Trivial connections and copper connections. Let's look what those things are. Let's say I want to get rid of the track between this this pad and that pad here. If I pick part of it and I hit U, that selects the entire thing. Or more appropriately, it selects the track between two nodes. 
all right? And what a node is, is a, uh, a point, it's, e it's an either a terminal or it is a junction like this. So let's look at this one over here, this track that comes up around and hits the middle and wanders around in the 3.3 volt bus, right? Let's say I select this and I hit U. The nodes are between this pad and where it this track ends, which is the center point of this this three-way guy over here. If I hit this and hit U, it's done already because it's at the center point of this junction. And if I hit this guy over here and I hit U, just like that five volt or yeah, the five volt bus on the over there, it's between the pad and this pad. Now, if instead I hit I, all right. Look what happens. Now it selects everything that's connected by by way of the copper through the pads, nodes, and everything else. Same thing would have happened down here on the 5 volt track if I hit I, like so. If you get them confused and you hit U and then you go, oh, I meant to do the whole thing, you can obviously upgrade that to an I. You cannot apparently downgrade that back to a U. As I hit the U, it won't go back down. So this stuff is really useful when you're cleaning up and reworking your board. So thank you very much. Keep keep the keep the, the good comments coming. I got to learn too. So thanks a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.